Robots were once mere fiction from years of imagination, but now have evolved into agents that carry out specific tasks in our society. The ancient Hebrews mentioned an artificial being, a golem to assist with strenuous labor, and while several advancements have made it seem so easy to produce a robot, it remains difficult to build one out of the blue. This is a simple guide on how to make a robot yourself, so watch this video to the end, and subscribe if you haven't to not miss any more of our interesting videos. Some of the most impressive robotic inventions are already on the market. For example, InMove, the first open source, 3D printed, life-size robot that walks and talks. While InMove has the typical humanoid look robots have in the movies, it comes in all shapes and sizes, serving various purposes for business and consumers alike. Robots are everywhere, and they are not going away. Businesses in North America ordered nearly 35,000 robots last year, a 10% bump from 2015 due to the measurable increases in productivity and speed that robots provide. Likewise, more than 1 in 10 American households are projected to own a robot by 2020, up from 1 in 25 in 2015. These statistics highlight the need for a more mainstream understanding of all that goes into building an operational robot, no matter how basic or complex it is. Basically, all robots have a few things in common, including a body of some sort that is capable of movement, controller motors, a CPU for calculations and programming to direct their behavior. So you see, if you really want to build a robot, it is not something to make right as you jump out of bed. Robots can be made from a variety of materials, including metal and plastics. Most robots are composed of three main parts, including the sensors, controller, and mechanical fittings, all designed to control the operation of the robot. All of these parts are designed to work together to control how the robot operates. As well as programming robots to be intelligent as possible, scientists also work hard on building robots that can perform a number of complex movements, as well as utilizing a variety of sensors. There are several things to be done about the distinct designing of robots, and all somehow require a developer's skill set, or a baseline encoding because they need to be taught how to act. These are a few simple steps to create a functional robot with clear purpose. The creation of a robot by engineers and scientists follows the steps of the design process. Before setting out to build your robot, you should take note of a few components required for making a robot, such as the power supply or the batteries, the microprocessor, the brain through which a robot thinks, motors for physical movements of the robot, sensors for different types of data for different tasks, the main body frame, the physical body of the robot, remote controller for operating or commanding the robot, other important components like wheels, jumper cables, cameras, hydraulics, or antenna, miscellaneous items like soldering machines, glue guns, duct tape, electric wires, a set of screwdrivers, pliers, wire clippers, and many other small, random stuff. After you already outline the necessary components, these few steps will give an overarching guide on how to build a robot. The first step to building a robot is setting an intention for the bot, which means setting a clear path for what it is to do. This is not difficult because you only have to think critically of why you need the robot and what the robot will do. Is it going to be creating autonomous beach art? Or will it be an in-home companion with advanced emotional intelligence that learns new things? It is important that you streamline the reason for your robot, like picking a life out for it, and it is advisable that you do not get too complicated because sometimes the most successful robots are those that are built to fulfill a single purpose. In essence, without clear intent, it is impossible to construct a successful creation. Clear intention sets a smooth platform for development. Next, decide what operating system your robot will run on. The advancement of technology has called for the advancement of robot programming, where they are now integrated and built to handle complex tasks and functions. To select the best operating system for your robot determines whether the robot will be built as an industrial robot or cognitive robot. Industrial robots are not as complex as cognitive robots. A number of operating systems work well for different types of robot. For example, Windows 10 trumps Linux on robots intended for everyday use, largely due to its integration with Microsoft's AI solutions. Additionally, Windows 10 is user-friendly and easy to operate with basic computer knowledge. Once you have decided what kind of robot you want to create, you can choose the operating system that best makes your robot come to life. 
This step is arguably the most important process of robot design, which is building the robot's central command unit. The central command unit serves as the backbone that supports the robot's desired features, including voice cognition, speech, facial recognition, motion detection, or other capabilities. The foundation of your robot's brain can be as simple as an internet-connected, handheld piece of hardware. Popular iterations include Raspberry Pi, an affordable mini-computer you can self-program, and Latte Panda, the first maker board pre-installed with a full Windows 10 operating system that provides the same user experience as a regular Windows PC. The Latte Panda is palm-sized, Intel-based, and Arduino-enabled, allowing for a processor that optimizes, develops, and customizes coding for robotic prototypes. The good news is that Latte Panda isn't just for software developers alone. It can also be used by educators and makers through its step-by-step -step tutorials. The functionalities that you staked out for your robot in step one will dictate what physical features it requires. The physical features of your robot should always suit the purpose the robot was created for. For instance, many industrial robots do not have complex shells like a humanoid robot fitted with levers, motor drivers, and all of that. If you are building a cleaning robot that requires vision, for instance, the shell will have a laser scanner, motor drivers, as well as touch sensors all compatible and working with the brain. If the robot needs to be able to communicate with other devices, ensure that the brain can accommodate messaging connectivity. It might not seem like viable advice to you, but setting out to build a robot has its demands and it is actually not something you can build on the go. Many robotics manufacturers have employed the building of prototypes to give their development teams a chance to watch their imagination swell, where they determine if their design fulfills the goals of what they intend the robot to do. Also, prototypes allow for easy testing that gives instant feedback on what works and what should be corrected. The first prototype is never the last one. Note that a viable process for building a robot should consider various approaches to the problem or goal the robot is meant to solve or achieve. At the end of the day, there is a lot of noise out there about how to create a robot. True, there are many ways to do it, but in order to be successful, the process requires knowledge and patience. It involves setting a clear strategy, weighing the pros and cons of different operating systems, programming the brain to carry out desired functions, and building the physical features that enable your robot's predetermined functionality. Do you know how to build yourself a robot now? You can leave your answers in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, you can hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get more content from us, or check out our video log for more interesting content. Until next time, have a great day.